My name is Connor Rindler, and I'm going to show you one method to scramble an egg. To scramble an egg, you'll need a few tools and a couple ingredients. First, you'll need some sort of heat source. I have a regular old electric stovetop, a gas range, or a heat plate will work. Anything that you guys have in your homes or apartments. You will also need a pan. I have a regular old conventional nonstick pan that I got at Walmart for about $7. You'll also need a stirring tool. I have a rubber spatula. A wooden spoon will also work. Anything that's not going to damage the surface of your nonstick pan. You will also need a mixing bowl. For our purposes, I just have a small glass ramekin. Anything will work, nothing fancy. Uh, just enough that will hold the contents of our recipe. For ours, we're going to make one scrambled egg today, so just a simple glass ramekin will work. You also need a whisk or a mixing tool. Um, I have a small whisk here, but for our purposes, we're just going to use a regular old home fork to do our whisking today. Okay, for the ingredients, you'll need one egg. Um, farm fresh, conventional egg work just fine. You'll also need some sort of lubricant for the pan. For um, our lubricant, I'm going to use pure canola oil. Oftentimes, people use butter or olive oil. Those are also common lubricants for a recipe for scrambled eggs. Also, you can optionally use milk to help fluff in your eggs. Milk provide a better mouthfeel and texture. It also helps lengthen the cooking time to ensure that the egg doesn't burn while cooking it. Um, all right, and then optionally, I'm going to use a little salt and pepper to help flavor up my scrambled egg today. You can use whatever you want. Um, generally, I use salt and pepper. All right, so let's get started. All right, first step is mixing the egg up, preparing it to be scrambled in the pan. So first step, we're going to crack our egg. All right, discard the shells wherever you want. I toss mine in my sink, and I just throw them away later. All right, then we're going to take our whisk, our small whisk, to change into a fork now. Just a simple mixing of the egg. You want to disrupt the membrane, make it one smooth consistency in color. Okay, only takes a few seconds. Then at this point, we'll add our milk. I have about a half tablespoon here. I like to meet in the middle. Remember, you can add up to about one tablespoon of milk per egg if you want. I choose to go a little less. All right, and then let's actually add a one pinch of our salt and pepper to this mixture as well. All right, now when we mix with the fork, combine it for a little while. You want to see one smooth color, no visible chunks. If you see any pieces of the shell, you want to remove those should be nice and smooth. There we are. All right, now we'll move on to cooking the egg. To cook the egg, you want to put your pan on low to medium heat. Um, it can be a little higher to start, but you want to reduce it once the egg starts to cook to ensure that you don't burn it. Um, okay, then we're going to add our canola oil. I use what I call a heavy half tablespoon. It's a little over a half tablespoon and a little under a full tablespoon. What I do is I fill the tablespoon right over my pan. As the oil heats, it'll become smooth. You want it to smoothly coat the entire bottom of the pan, just like this, bada bing. All right, once that happens, we can add our egg right to the middle of the oil. It might look like a lot of oil to begin with, but that's totally fine. As the egg cooks, you want to use your rubber spatula or rubber scraper, the tool that you've picked uh, that's not going to damage the bottom of your pan, to move the egg from the outside to the inside. Moving from the outside to the inside the entire time. You want to continually do this to ensure that your egg doesn't stick or burn to the pan. You can let the co egg cook in place, stirring it from the outside to the inside. Once you see the egg start to solidify, you want to reduce your heat a little bit down to that medium low. Then, once it starts to become solid, you can fold the egg on top of itself like this, making a small little omelet in a sense every time. Every time I do that, I cut the egg with my rubber spatula, creating this scrambled egg. As the egg continues to heat, I heat it to the desired consistency, making those chops and stirs, getting the egg to the desired amount of scrambled that you would want. Once the egg is finely cooked to the consistency that you would like it, either a little runny or a little smooth or a little brown on the outside, however you like your scrambled eggs, then you will remove it from the heat and turn off your range. At this point, I like to add the remaining bit of salt and pepper to my scrambled eggs just to flavor them up. All right, 
Once that has a little time to cool, then we can serve it. This has been Connor Rindler on How to Scramble an Egg.